Welcome to my first video on Resident Evil 4 Remake. I won't be playing the game or anything, or running around or doing that. It's just a video about some of the settings. So, better not go that way, there's enemies. Because I'm at the very beginning of the game. Um, go this way. Okay, a lot of people have been having issues, I've noticed online, of aiming with the mouse. Is this a quick video just to show some things I found out? Like, first of all, I'll just show in case you're interested. These are the graphic settings I find for a 32 gig computer and a GeForce RTX 2060 with 12 gig of RAM. My CPU and specs are all in the About tab in my channel. This is what I have. On my setup, so I know it runs good FPS. I'm getting a 71 FPS with recording. Just in case you're interested, but you've got to make sure you keep, if you're getting lag issues, to keep this number here grey. You don't want it another colour. You've got to have loads of space. Your graphics card to what memory you using for your card, and it's by display. Okay, but the back to the actual video. Now, what the problem is is I have been finding is first of all, it's a bit confusing and weird. You have a controller, and then your mouse controls, if you don't see it, are underneath it. I don't know why for a PC game, I suppose because it's a port from a console, which is insane. Do not even bother to do it properly, but there we go. That's this day and age. But yeah, the mouse settings are under the controller. And here you got your aiming and your normal game. So I recommend putting out full work. Okay. Then you can aim for it now. When you're aiming on an enemy, like say this is Bowers an enemy, normally when you aim you like you can move at this speed. But when you go on the enemy it goes really slow and you can hardly move. So you can't aim to the next target. So if you aimed here and somebody's coming to you at that angle, you can't switch to them. Then you come out of aim, turn, aim, shoot, come out, aim. And it's really annoying that it slows down when you hit the target. What that is is you go in the options. Oh, here we go, I'm not going to find it. Uh, blah. Normal, when aiming, field. That means it's in controller. Down here in controller, which would make you think it's for a joypad, but it, it enhances the mouse stuff. So it, it's not just a joypad. In fact, you have this here. If you have it on really strong, it means, basically, when you aim on an enemy, your cursor, which is around mouse sensitivity, or your joypad sensitivity, will go really slow. So then you can, can't move to the next target. Don't know why it's a thing. But if you're having that issue, or have an aiming issue, make sure this is on zero. Then you're good. And what else I find is... Like with these games, games in general, on PC. If you got this up full, and for whatever reason, you find it still too slow, and you just cannot turn around quick enough, and you don't want to push the turn around quick button, because why do you want to do that? You're using the mouse. That makes no sense. It's not a joypad. Strange option for a PC game. So what you can do is, I use the... Razor Blackadder. If you get a program like that, I really recommend this. People say this program is not very good, but disagree. You can use this to set up all your buttons, all your different profiles of different games. And you can also go in here and change your mouse sensitivity. And that changes, as you can see, depending on the profile I choose. So then you can have your button set up side, or that one, or that one. So it comes with them and they come off. Per game, with 
your mouse and simply separate per game and you can set up all your buttons on the side and your front. So then you can get your aiming close enough to perfect in nearly any game. I think that's all I want to say for this video. Stuff's a bit short. I am working on some bigger videos. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.